you're going to give me evils all morning, at least tell me why. Heard your little pep talk last night with Declan. That's right, and don't bother lying, cos I heard every word. It was nothing. He'd had a big row with Katie, thanks to you. Well, I don't see why it was such a big secret. I can do without the hassle, Robbie. He needed to talk, and you know what Declan's like when it comes to opening up. Hi! Hiya. Who's in charge of ordering eggs around here, cos we're nearly out? You are. Important safety tip. Stay out of his kitchen this morning. I'm making brunch for my wife later. You're saying sorry with Eggs Benedict? Unless you've got a better idea. Be a bottle of Frosties for one soon enough. Trust me. Bucks fizz, actually. Well, we're celebrating the hotel money coming through yesterday as well. Problem? Break yourself, don't you? I'm telling you, she's a peeping Betty. Right, if it wasn't for that big shower cap, she would have seen everything. OK, why would she be perving on you when she can watch Alan rub deep heat in his joints? I am putting a lock on the bathroom door, OK? I'll give us a kiss. See you, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I'm going to the bus stop now and I don't want either of you to follow me. Oh, I'll watch you from here. Is that OK? <sighs> so, what exactly did you say to him last night? He's been acting weird all morning. Nothing. Just set his mind at rest, that's all. Right, well, set it better next time. Cos whatever you've said's just undone all the good work I've done over the last week. <sighs> OK. <sighs> Alicia, do you, you know this... this telling the whole village thing? We don't have to do a big announcement, do we? We, we could just leak it. Or oh, what? Ring Heat magazine and give him an exclusive? <sighs> We could tell Victoria. She'll fill Betty and Amy in and then it'll go viral. Well, we need to get it out there before the gossip start joining the dots and getting them in the wrong order. So it's perfectly normal for Tootsie still to be off her food? Yeah, completely. Try not to worry, Edna. She needs to build her strength up, though. Could try and tempt her with a bit of fresh chicken. Can I get you anything, Edna? Oh, no, thank you. I, I merely wanted a... What's up? I said we'd only be five minutes. Can't you wait? Looks like an emergency sugar low, Doctor. One milky coffee and a buttered tea cake. Stat. <laughs> a face and figure may be set to stone, but her tongue's definitely stuck on wound. Where's <laughs> Edna? Edna, wait there. I thought you said this was going to be your treat, unless you were thinking of paying Bobby and Kane. Come here, you. Come and have a cup of tea with me. I'm going to let the office phone ring off the hook, and I'm going to milk this break for all it's worth, because she's paying. Um, I'm afraid I'm rather busy. Nonsense! Park it up here, lady. I'm buying to no excuses. I said I'm busy. Looks like I'm going to have to try even harder with that one. Can you just give up? Edna's never been one to suffer fools gladly. Unlike Rona, then. <laughs> right, I'm wounded, but I'm just moving on. I think what they're trying to say is that the lady's not for turning. Fifty Note says we'll be having tea for two within the week. You know. What? Got cash to burn, have you, job seeker? This one has charmed far grumpier birds than Edna in her time. Call it 100 quid. It'll be a redundancy pay. <laughs> Steps. Oh, come on. Go in and get one. We'll be there in a sec. How'd it go? Yeah, good. The donor blood's working, so that's good news. Hey. No oh, way, brilliant. Does that mean she's, like, cured, then? Well, they don't talk in terms of cures, but, you know, it's as good as it gets right now. So, it's about time we started looking to the future again. What have you got in mind? Well, I want to look over the accounts for that place this morning. Well, so we're ticking over. I don't want to tick over. I want to make money, not excuses. Give me some credit. I've kept that place open and running for you. Yeah, and I'm very grateful, but we can do so much better. I want to make some serious money. I want better for me and the kids. Nice idea, by the way. Been the hairdressers, cos you're worth it. Yes, I have, and you are right. I am worth it. I was out of order about Andy. Try totally over the top. But either you trust me, they'll forget it. Cos I'm not changing the way I do things just to make you feel more secure. I don't want you to. And I really want to make it up to you. Don't really think a couple of poached eggs is really cutting it, do you? Look, I know it doesn't solve everything, but... maybe we should get away together. Like a second honeymoon? I could think of cheaper ways to paper over the cracks. Well... I can't promise a power branch every day. 
But I know that I need to do things differently around here. I won't argue with that. So what are the chances of me being forgiven any time soon? Right. Well, I'll get on it then. Hey, curry night tonight. Eating or takeaway. Marlon's idea originally, but I've nicked it. Business has been a bit slow of late. Use them up the leftovers. Oh, cheeky beggar. <laughs> He wanted to call it good coma night, but while well, I beat that idea out of him with a wooden spoon. <laughs> How are things going with you two? Fine. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You don't have to put on a front with me. Has Kane said something to you? Like he'd say anything to me. What's happened? Oh, he's been rattling his cage, which of course has delighted Nicola, who now wants rid of him even more. Well, I'm not exactly going to win any popularity contests around here either, am I? <gasps> Looks like we might have something in common. <laughs> Nothing a bit of hard graph won't cure. And maybe a bit of quality time over a curry as a reward. Fab, I'll put you down for a table at seven. Great. You all ready for the off, then? No, not quite. You? Why would I be when my mother's a lying, double-crossing? Oh, will you spare me the histrionics? I didn't lie to you. I just held back mentioning it. He ripped you off? Yes, I know he did. But he's still my brother and he's having a pretty hard time. <sighs> he brings it on himself. Right. There you go. You happy now? Go on, then. You can't do it, can you? Just say it. You're choosing him over me again. It's all right, I'll get over it. I'm used to you letting me down. I'm not going to let you down. Here you go, Dan. Hey, Diddley. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm giving this a try today. Mm, tempting, but I don't think I'll get many sakers. We're jamming blows, innit? Everyone's skin's still paid, eh? Nothing to do with the landlady being an ex-con. She was found not guilty last time I looked, boss. Doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to have enemies around here. Nice one. I'd better go and pack. Can you remember where I've stuffed Pearl's lucky pencil topper things? Ooh, maybe they got binned. <sighs> she is gonna kill you when she gets back. I'm only joking. <laughs> Second draw down. <laughs> Wasn't Edna meant to be collecting Tootsie's mail earlier? Maybe I should take them round? Yeah, right. Should be in later. Anyway, you finding excuses to pop round there is against the rules. What rules? The no bothering Edna rules. I don't want to be upset by this bet. It's supposed to be a professional bet. It's not even dinner time yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're a poet and you don't know it. Why don't you both shut your faces? Oh, stop being so grumpy, Paddy. Maybe you should just wait and see if Edna turns up for them. Well, it'll take five minutes. Yeah. A quarter of an hour for you to crawl by your way in there and celebrate me losing 100 quid while you have a cup of tea. Oh, he's making up the rules to sue him. I mean, oh, whose side are you on here? Edna's, actually. So just hold fire. Ah. Here you go. I told you she'd be hard at work. Uh, cheer up. Might never happen. <laughs> yeah. When people say that, he usually has. Uh, Nicola's gone to lunch. OK. Well, we've got a little announcement to make, actually. Well, it's quite a big one, really. That time we're getting divorced. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. No, um, we'd like to say thank you for all the work that you've done. Not just on the hotel, 
but generally, I've had to run all this past my long-suffering wife, of yeah, course. I'm not that thrilled about it, to be honest. I, I'm really sorry, but um, you lost me after thanks. We want to give you back all the money that we owe you. Your share of the festival profits, plus interest. <laughs>